Hey, um, can I do a grande uh, white macadamia cream cold brew? All right, we'll be back you. Thank you. Thank you. What is up, you guys? I just, as you saw, ordered a coffee for the day, and I decided to pick up the camera today. I haven't vlogged in a little while, but I wanted to just do maybe a few days of my life. Um, it's Monday today. Maybe we'll do a week in my life. Who knows? But I am about to go to the grocery store and I also need to run by our new house just to, I don't need to, but I want to. Um, I haven't been by in a while and they have done a lot of new things since I was there last, I think. Um, and they're doing a lot this week. They're supposed to have the cabinets coming in this week. They're gonna start painting the inside. And I think they might paint the exterior too. I don't know. But I just want to see what is going on over there and um, then go by the grocery store. So that's what's up. You're new around here. Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Wesleyan. Happy to have you hanging out. All right, quick overview of everything I got at the grocery store. Um, got some eggs for breakfast in the morning, some snacks, like a bunch of chips and pretzels. I got these. These are like my favorite um, chocolate chips to use for different desserts and baking and stuff. Got some garlic powder because we were out. Um, some dates to make, you see me make the date almond butter chocolate things, super good. Um, I also like to put these in smoothies. Then I got these juices um, from the Natalie's brand. I really like the juices they make. So got those, they were on sale. And then I got a cucumber, some salt, even though I was looking to get a much bigger container of salt than this. Um, I guess there's like a salt shortage, I don't know. Um, but there was no like big salt containers. So I had to get this. I literally don't know what was going on with that, but that's what I got to get us by for the meantime. Carrots to snack on, meat for the week, then um, some more mush. You guys know this is my favorite. Um, this just too good Greek yogurt, really good to make fruit parfaits in the morning. Then I got some fruit, some blackberries and blueberries, banana and sweet potato. So it's a little grocery overview. I'm gonna put all this away now. It's a little later. I just finished doing some work stuff and I'm about to replenish my vitamins for the week in my little vitamin container. I have these on my Amazon storefront if you are interested. I just think it's the easiest way to organize my vitamins for the week instead of trying to uh, like take them all, like pour out everything from every single one of these bottles. Um, also, figure this would be a good time to update you guys. I started taking this vitamin. It's a prenatal vitamin from Ritual. Um, I've heard really good things about the Ritual brand and I figured I would try them out because if you don't know, I recently stopped taking my birth control. I've been on it for 10 years and it was best thing I feel like I could have done. I feel so much more myself lately and it's been almost a month of me not being on it. Um, but all that being said, my um, doctor said that when I stopped taking it, I need to get on a prenatal vitamin. So I just ordered the ritual ones and so far so good. So I will leave these linked down below if you guys are interested in taking um, like a prenatal vitamin. Um, I just think these are really good or seem to be really good. They have good reviews. Um, and like I said, I've been taking them for about a month now and I really like them. These are not sponsored or anything. I just have heard good things about Ritual, so that's why I decided to get them. And then of course I also take my D3 and my B12. I am deficient like crazy in B12. Um, I think a lot of people are. So if you've never been tested, you should go get tested and see if you're deficient in B12. Also, I take my vitamin D every day. This is like super good for like just your overall immune health. Like everyone should be taking vitamin D. 
and if you aren't you should get a good vitamin d supplement this brand is really good um and then this is also a really good supplement i get this from whole foods you can also order it i think i've ordered it off of amazon before um as well but it's a calcium magnesium and zinc supplement it's for just like all the things bone health um, magnesium is really good for like anxiety and sleep aid zinc is really good for your immune system as well so those are the things that i take and i literally just organize all of them into these little thingy bobs and it just makes it so much easier for taking my vitamins every day i figured i would share that um so that you guys can kind of see what supplements i am taking and like i said so far everything is so good on um getting off my birth control i'm gonna film a whole separate video of my like life off of birth control um at some point i kind of want to give it another month probably before i film that but i've been literally taking notes and documenting every like feeling um that i've been having and whatnot so um like week by week so i can give a good little recap in case you're considering getting off birth control hopefully my video can help i watched a ton of videos myself on tiktok and youtube before i got off because i feel like it's just like helpful to kind of hear other people's testimonies on their experiences obviously no two experiences are going to be the exact same but at least it's helpful to kind of know what to expect so anyway this is what we got here with the vitamins so super easy i really like having these containers like i said they're just like helpful for stuff like this and then i just take this and put it in the cabinet and that is all good morning it's the next day i just have been doing work this morning so i had breakfast and now i'm about to make a coffee i feel like i'm a little bit under the weather i started not feeling very good last night and this morning i feel like my throat like you can probably tell i sound like kind of congested i feel like i can't like catch a full breath i don't know but i am about to make coffee i wanted to show you guys though a few things that i've gotten recently because i you know love to share all the new products that i'm getting one of them being this water bottle from brewmate i love this it is so nice obviously i still have my trusty stanley but i've been using this for the past two days since i got it and i love it because it has the straw and you just do that on the side and it like twists up and closes and i just think that's like so fun and i like the color it's 35 ounces which is like a good size for drinking water and yeah it's just like a really good quality it has this little thing on the sides you can carry easily and i don't know i just thought it'd be fun to kind of switch up i think this is newer from them i could be wrong but um yeah i can link it down below and i think i i can't remember if i have a code with them or not i feel like i do if i do i'll leave a link down below but um yeah they have different colors but of course you know me i just had to get the most neutral i also got all this stuff in while we were gone on vacation so i just like got back on sunday and like unboxed all of it so that's why i'm just not showing you but um also t3 sent me a new curling iron and this is their what is it their one and a fourth inch um single pass curling iron and it just looks like this and i'm so excited to use that i need needed to get like a thicker curling iron because mine is a one inch and i feel like it just doesn't give me the kind of curls that i want i mean it curls my hair fine but like i think this will help being a bit of a bigger barrel um and t3 makes like really good products so i'm excited to use this and then i also got some stuff in from old navy and i basically just got like these really basic flip-flops i wore them yesterday and i feel like the basic flip-flops are like back in like you know the ones i'm talking about let me show you these like foam type flip-flops and old navy has really good ones different colors and stuff i got black and white and again these i was supposed to have for the beach when we went last week and they didn't come in in time so um yeah but i have them to wear now for the rest of the summer and they're like five bucks but they're so comfy and i feel like these just like i don't know what it is about these but i just think they make your outfits look cuter so got these in black and white and i can leave those linked down below i also got 
Well, I was on their website. This little romper, just because it was on sale and it was cute and I love little rompers like this. It's just like a black romper. It has like this ring on the front of it. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cute and comfy. I love stuff like this, like I said, in the summertime to just throw on. Um, and like that with like a black flip-flop. It's like such a cute little casual look. And then I also got these shoe boxes. Oh, <laughs> shoe boxes from the Amazon Prime Day sale. I didn't get, I didn't go crazy on Prime Day sale just because I was like, I don't like need that much stuff like right now. I wish the Prime Day sale would be like farther off into like when we're buying our house, but I just kind of scoured the website quick and got, I actually ordered two olive trees. They haven't come in yet, but I'll leave the link to them down below. Um, I'm gonna try and make a whole list of like things I'm buying for the house if you guys would be interested in seeing that, um, like things I'm getting off of Amazon. So I'll leave that link on there. And then also these shoe boxes because I've been wanting to get some of these and I feel like they're so easy to organize your shoes in your closet. And like the closet we have now in our rental is just not big enough. Like I have a shoe shelf in there, but it's just not big enough to do like, um, the shoe boxes like this so i just went ahead and ordered these though because they were on sale for prime day and um i'm gonna use them in our new house to organize my shoes and stuff but yeah i think that's all for recent products things that i've ordered things that people have sent me whatever um but right now i need to make coffee because i'm like losing my brain capacity for the morning i feel like i can't be the only one that's like that when you start like working <laughs> in the morning and you feel like you are fine for like a minute and then you're like okay i can't function like this anymore at least that's how i am i know some people like wake up immediately make their coffee i don't like to do that i like to like try and at least function off the energy that i have just right off that from waking up instead of trying to rely on caffeine and once it gets to be about 10 30 i need to make my coffee so getting ready to go out to get some sun and I was just putting on my sunscreen I put sunscreen on my face pretty much every day or at least try to but I only use this sunscreen it is the 100% mineral tinted SPF from skin farm if you can see it if it will focus um, I really like this one because it is 100% mineral. I don't like to use chemical sunscreens if I can help it. Um, but this one is really good so I can link it down below. I also will use the super group every now and then just because I do have a travel size. So when we go to the beach and stuff, I only will wear that one. But if I'm like on the daily, like this is what I wear. So I can leave it linked for you guys because it's really good. And then I just need to put some aqua on my lips. But yeah, we're gonna go lay out. morning guys it is clearly the next day well it's not even the next day i didn't even vlog yesterday because we had to go in the office yesterday for work if you don't know i work remote and i have to go in the office one day a month so so yesterday was the day to go into the office so i was basically there all day and was no point in vlogging um but yeah i'm about to start on some laundry for the day i didn't get to do any laundry yesterday which wednesdays i feel like are always kind of my laundry days um i didn't get to do any yesterday because we were in the office um but now i can 
do some today. This is kind of the last of the loads from our trip. So it'd be nice to have all this done. I need to also get the stain out of this shirt. Look at this shirt. I wore this out to one of the bars one night and somehow got drink on it. My tip for drinking at the bar, if you don't ever know like what to order or what to get and you want like something more low calorie, I always get tequila waters and I bring a Mio with me. You can get so many different flavor flavors of Mio and you just put the Mio in the tequila water you can like barely taste the tequila and it is so good. Um, it's kind of dangerous, but it's also really good. And I think that's what got on this shirt. So I'm gonna try and get, we have some Dawn. I feel like I'm carrying you guys around with me everywhere, but also I fully believe that Dawn is the solution to all of our problems. It gets everything out, I swear. But I just like sprayed this type of Dawn on it. It's the Power Wash dish spray and I basically use it for everything. Um, countertops, laundry, dishes, everything. And I swear it gets everything out, but We'll see if it gets the Mio out. It might not, but you know, whatever. If I can't wear this shirt again, it's not the end of the world. But I just kind of put it on there like that, let it sit, and then I'll start the laundry with it. Other plan today is to go through a ton of my clothes. We're gonna do a big closet clean out because I kind of want this to be the last big closet clean out before we move. And I just have so many stuff like clothes and stuff that I have not even worn this summer that I need to just get rid of because I'm just clearly not going to wear it again. And yeah, I just need to get rid of a bunch of stuff because I want to be able to move the least amount of clothes as possible. Like I'd hate to move everything over there and then go through and like get rid of half of it. I'd rather get rid of the half of it now. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to Play-Doh's to drop these clothes off. And then I'm also planning to go to the Ashley Furniture Store because they have a couch there that I want to look at. Zach and I were looking at it last night and I think it's the couch that we want to get for the new house. But I want to like go see it in person, sit on it and like test it out before we order it because it is like a couple thousand and I don't want to drop that kind of money on something that we're not like fully sold on um so i'm gonna definitely go by there while i'm on that side of town too and then we're gonna probably work the rest of the afternoon in a coffee shop then i'm meeting a bunch of my friends to go see the barbie premiere movie it is coming out tonight i'm so excited to see it i really hope it lives up to the hype i feel like it's been advertised like crazy so i'm excited to see if it like really lives up to what like how it's been how much it's been pushed and stuff so yeah, that's kind of a rundown of my day, but like I said, right now I'm doing laundry, <laughs> trying to get it all done. I'm also literally so out of breath. I came home yesterday and took the longest nap of my life. Like I literally took like a three hour nap when I got home from work yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was so tired. I am so bloated. I just like, this is just a real life update. I know I'm going to do like a recap of getting off of birth control, but this is kind of how I've been feeling for the past three or four days I guess now um of being off my birth control like the week before my period I've been off of it for almost a full month now um but this period coming up will be my first period with no birth control if I even start a lot of women don't even start their period regularly again when they get off it takes a couple months to get it back so yeah but I'm like I'm so bloated I'm so out of breath I'm all like whatever I don't know what's going on with me I just don't feel right but it's mine i definitely feel a lot better today i think getting a lot of sleep yesterday helped i was just like so exhausted yesterday for some reason but i'm learning so much about like your hormones and like how all of that plays a part and how you're feeling and i never really focused on that because i just was like oh well, i'm on birth control like it handles it for me basically but now that i'm getting off i'm like i need to really know why i feel a certain way or like what that is all about and like why i might be not feeling too good one day and feel fine the next so yeah anyway all that being said i'm gonna finish up this laundry and then i'll show you guys kind of the result of the closet clean out i'm not gonna like do it all with you because like honestly who cares you've probably seen me do it a thousand times at this point so i'll just show you everything that i end up like packing up to get rid of well so you guys i went to target yesterday and i got some stuff for my best friend if you don't know um, I don't think I've shared on here yet, but my best friend Lauren is pregnant. She's been in a few vlogs before, um, so you guys might know who I'm talking about, but 
Um, she is pregnant with a baby boy and she had her gender reveal this past weekend and we couldn't go because we were at the beach, we were on vacation. So I wanted to run by Target and get her some goodies just for like a cute little gift. I've been wanting to get her gifts like every time I'm at the store, I'm like, I need to get her this, but I didn't know the gender of her baby. So funny story, she ended up telling us the gender like before the gender reveal, we hung out with them like the weekend before and they ended up telling us because I was like, I can't wait, like, I need to know now. And she told us and so we knew kind of before anyone else, but anyway, this is what I got her. I got this cute little striped um, shirt and overall situation. I just thought it was so cute. It's green, His, her husband Sam coaches at the same school that Zach does and so green and gold are like the colors and I just thought it'd be nice to have like a little green. This is just like such a cute little spring. I feel like it's gonna be like fall, spring vibes. I don't know. She's having the baby, she's due in December. So I got zero to three months so that hopefully he can wear it like soon after he's born just for like a cute little outfit whenever they take him out. And then I got this, which I thought was so cute. It's a infant hooded towel. So when they give him baths and stuff, um, it's like a little elephant. I love elephants and I know she does too. So that's why I got the elephants. Then I got this little blankie elephant. Um, it's like a security blanket, they call it, but it's just like babies like to have stuff like this to hold on to. And I just thought it would be really sweet. I also just feel like I already have such a special connection to this baby because his name, they're naming him Walker, and his full name would be Walker Allen Hayes, so his initials will be W-A-H, which if you don't know, my maiden name is Hardy, and fun fact, I haven't even legally changed my name yet, so it's technically still Hardy, but um, yeah, so my initials are W-A-H, and her baby's initials will be W-A-H, so I just think that's really sweet, and yeah, I'm just so excited for them, so excited for her to have her first baby. I'm just cannot wait to meet him whenever he comes in December. It's gonna come up so quick. All right, you guys, I've got the bag loaded up. This is like my go-to huge, ginormous bag to take clothes to Play-Dohs. Um, but I mean, she's basically overflowing. So I have a ton of stuff in here. Interested to see what they end up taking, but I'll obviously show you guys how much we make. I feel like I look like such a mom right now. It's kind of funny. Um, I just went and got this package in the mail and I was gonna show you guys what I got. I ordered this a week ago now. I actually think I ordered it. I ordered it when we were on vacation this weekend, this past weekend. And I'm excited about it. It's the most random thing. I think you guys are gonna completely understand why I got it when I show it to you. So, it's this little thing called a java sock can you see it it's called a java sock and basically it goes around your coffees look how cute she is i love the pattern i got like a pink with these blue tigers and it basically like goes around your coffee so like i could probably show you my stanley so my stanley's a little bit big but it goes around your coffee like that and it keeps your coffee cold and you guys know me, it takes me forever to drink my coffees. So I'm so excited about this because I think it will keep, I like genuinely keep my coffees cold. Like I've seen a lot of reviews on it and it's supposed to work really good. So I got this size. I think this is the smallest size because I normally drink grandes. I don't really ever get venties or anything, but they do have bigger sizes on their website if you were interested in getting one for yourself. Um, but yeah, it's called the Java Sock. I will leave the link to them down below. This is like not sponsored in any way. I literally paid for this with my own money. But I know I have so many coffee, fellow coffee drinkers out there and maybe you need something like this if you're like me. I mean, I know some people drink their coffee in like 30 minutes, they like down it. I drink my coffee over the span of like three hours. <laughs> so I needed something like this to be able to like keep it cold. So I love this because I can just keep it in my little purse. And when I go to my coffee shop to work today, I'm gonna put it to use for the first time. So. Exciting things. Also, I literally just had to cross the main road to get to our mailbox. If you don't know, we live like off of the main road and our mailbox is across the street. So I always have to like 
wait time traffic to like run across the street. It's probably not the safest thing, but oh well. <laughs> Up at the Play-Dohs that I dropped my clothes off at and we only made 32 bucks but they said it's because they're like really limited for purchasing right now because they're just like overstocked with inventory and she was like we had you had so many good items we wanted to purchase we just can't right now so she basically just had to bring them back towards the end of summer so like end of August so I'll probably just bring all that stuff back in about a month so anyway that is what happened there I'm super tired from work today um, and also, you guys saw I was working in the coffee shop. I made a TikTok about this, so I thought I would share on here too because it was so funny. I was trying to take some photos of my little um, Java thing, which I did use. I think I filmed a clip of it. Um, and I was trying to like vlog in there and stuff. And sometimes it's just like awkward to like pull the camera out or try and take photos or whatever because people half the time don't know what you're doing. And I feel like people are like judging, which I kind of don't care, but I kind of do care, like because you just don't want to like. I don't know, it was kind of embarrassing. Anyway, so I was like so concerned about what this one girl was gonna think of me because she was sitting like right across from me and I knew she was gonna be like, what is that girl doing? Um, this girl is straight up like picking her nose. I like look up and she's just like digging for gold. I said, I don't care what this girl thinks of me anymore. I was like, I could not believe, I don't think I've ever seen someone pick their nose like that in public. Like she was not trying to hide it at all. It was so weird. Anyway, so I made a TikTok about it because it was so funny. But I got my work done at the coffee shop. I also, as you saw, went by Ashley Furniture to look at the couches that we're considering. I think I know which one I want to get, but I think Zach and I are probably going to go back this weekend just to like make sure that he's good with it because obviously he's going to be sitting on it too and I don't want to be the one making the executive decision and then he doesn't like it and we already spent all that money and like, I don't know, I just want him to approve of it too. So we're going to go back eventually. So... That is just an update of what's been going on. I'm actually about to go into Home Goods and see what I can find. Last time I went here a couple weeks ago, I got a lot of good things. You guys saw, I think it was in my last vlog, the Home Goods haul that I did. So we're gonna go back and see what we can find, see if they have any rugs or any desks or anything that's kind of the main things I'm looking for. And then we're going to dinner with friends. We're gonna go see the Barbie movie. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really good. Hopefully it is, it'll live up to the hype. We shall see and I'll give you guys a review on it when we're done. All right, it's the next day, clearly. I am driving. Um, I actually just had to go to Lowe's. Zach sent me to Lowe's because I was already out. I went to get lunch with my friend Lauren. You guys saw the baby gift I got her. Um, I wanted to get her the gift, give her the gift, and then, okay, I'm gonna have to hold this because I feel like the roads get so bumpy and like my camera falls and stuff, but I went to um, get lunch with her and then Zach sent me to Lowe's, which, you are a wife, girlfriend, whatever, and your significant other sends you to Lowe's, you know it's the most stressful situation. Like, I cannot stand going into Lowe's. One, not knowing exactly what I'm looking for, but also, like, just going in there in general is just so stressful, because I never know where anything is, and then I have to ask someone, and it's just like the stereotype of like being the girl in there that doesn't know what she's doing, and I just don't like it. So anyway, but our screen door handle, like, broke somehow I don't even know how um it just like got jammed and then Zach tried to fix it and when he took it apart he was like I don't really think this is supposed to actually come apart and but since I was out and he was in the middle of doing yard work he was like can you just go by and get it and I was like sure so I went to Lowe's and got this new door handle that I was like so stressed trying to find anyway so that's where I've been today and obviously we went and saw the Barbie movie last night it was actually so good you guys it was very like girl power um which i wasn't really expecting it to be that way as much as it was i definitely thought it would be a little bit but not as much as it was i felt like they did a really good job with just like in general just the movie like the visuals and like all the things and they like made it very like nostalgic and like there were so many different things that um i don't know that you just remember about barbies when you played with them as a kid and it was a really sweet movie so you should definitely go see it if you haven't um i would definitely recommend going to watch um but yeah so i just want to let you guys know about that and 
yeah it's friday we are about to head into the weekend the house is fully painted now the outside is fully painted um and i'm hoping that they will have like the cabinets and all that kind of stuff done um and i think they're gonna paint the walls and stuff soon so yeah i'm really excited to just see it all come together excited to keep sharing it with you guys if you haven't already subscribed so that you can see all of the fun new home things that are going to be happening i'm so excited to just take you guys along for it it's like my favorite getting to share my life online and yeah anyway that is all i hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it was so all over the place but that is gonna be life for the next like two months so just bear with me and so much fun home content coming i cannot wait love you all so much i'll see you in the next video and now it's clear whenever you are